Hello, this is Ruth with AAUW Site Resources, and I'm going to show you how to make a sub page for your WordPress site today. Okay, so if you watched our tutorial about making a page, uh, you heard me talk about what a page is and how it's um, a place to put static information on your website, so information that you always want people to be able to see, such as about us or our history. And sometimes, you know, as your site grows, you might want to organize those pages uh, under subheadings. So for example, uh, you know, I've, I'm starting to have a lot of pages and I, I kind of want to put my history underneath about us because I want it to streamline my navigation. So this is how you do that. Um, I am starting today in the dashboard. I went ahead and skipped over the login. Um, if you need to know how to log into WordPress dashboard, uh, you can find out how to do that in our uh, how to make a post or how to make a page tutorials. Okay, so assuming you've watched those, we're going to start in the dashboard today. Um, first thing you want to do is in your left side toolbar, you want to go to click on pages. And um, you can see here, I actually have these, see these titles that have little dashes in front of them, like calendar and event? These are already sub pages. So these pages go underneath site additions. So you can start to understand kind of how the web structure is becoming more or organized by using sub pages. And if you ever made an outline or anything like that, it's the same sort of uh, from big to small idea of organization. Okay, so I want to add uh, a, a page today that fits underneath About Us, and I'm going to call it AUW History. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new page. So up your title at the top, click the button that says Add New. Okay, I'm going to add my title, say AUW History. And then I'm going to click inside my text editing box and I'm going to paste in some information. And you can see that um, up here, WordPress is giving you a uh, permalink. And it's actually added a number on the end, which means there's already an AAUW history page. So let's go ahead and save this draft by clicking Save Draft under the Publish box. And let's go to Pages. And then you see right underneath Pages, you have four categories. You have All, Published, draft and trash. So since I don't see a, another AAUW history page in my list here, I, I think it might be in the trash. So I'm going to go ahead and look in the trash and see, yeah, here it is. So here's the other one that's stealing my permalink name and I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, so let's go back to the page we were working on. But I, by, I clicked on pages in the side bar there and then I'm going to click on AUW history draft so this is the one I was working on I saved as a draft and now you can see WordPress has automatically fixed my permalink okay so to make this into a sub page uh, all you have to do is um, underneath your publishing box over here we've been doing a lot of work in that if you've uh, done our how to create a page tutorial um, right underneath that you'll see a gray bar that says page attributes and it says parent and you can choose from a menu um, it automatically selects no parent which means it's it's a page so it starts out being a static page that's going to be in your uh, navigation bar and uh, it stands on its own and the way you would uh, categorize it is by clicking on that parent menu and you would select the page you want it to be underneath or you would select the page that you want it to be a child of so that's the way it kind of works is the big page is the parent and then the sub page is the child so I'm going to set AUW history to be the child of about us so now I have a selected about us as my parent okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save my draft again and why don't we go ahead and publish okay so let's go ahead and go to view page and make sure our navigation is working correctly Okay, so here's my uh, AUW history page, and now when I scroll over the About Us category at the top, or the, I'm sorry, the About Us uh, navigation uh, button at the top, I get a drop-down for AUW history. 
So you can see that I've made it a child of About Us. And if I go to my home, that's hidden and it's not crowding my uh, navigation bar here at the top. So that's a great way to make sure your site stays nice and clean and easy to navigate. Okay, thanks for watching.